Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Thailand and today I'm hanging out with my buddy Drew. What's up guys? How's it going? I'm hungry this morning. Let's get some food. We both love to eat and so we're gonna go to a restaurant. It's called Bla Me Nam. Chai Mai Ka Bing. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what's the full name of the restaurant? Yeah, it's called Bla Me Nam. Bla Me Nam. And Bla Me Nam, Bla is fish and Me Nam is river. So this is a river fish restaurant. Uh, so basically everything you're gonna eat there is all river fish. It's about a 45 minute drive away from Bangkok and it is fully worth the drive. The food is incredible. Uh, they have some very unique dishes on their menu. We are on our way there now for lunch. I'm really excited, man. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Oh, man. Oh, it's packed. <laughs> So I have no idea where Mark just took me. Like we could, we could be in Lao for all I know, but uh, we ended up here somehow. So. Oh man, this place is packed. I didn't know it'd be so packed today. So that's a little bit of a drive from Bangkok, but it's so worth the food. Uh, you get off the highway and you come into kind of the neighborhood area. They specialize uh, in freshwater fish, so awesome. that's what we're gonna eat, but uh, among uh, lots of other dishes oh, as man, well. I'm really hungry, so I'm looking forward to this one. And also, what's interesting about this place is that it's in a big, it's, it's a big old wooden Thai building, almost like barn style, uh, but a big open air restaurant. Alrighty, man. All right. Perfect. They have a lot of very unique dishes. They have a lot of very interesting dishes. Dishes that you won't find just at any restaurant. You have to come to a spot like this. Yeah, they have a lot of amazing dishes. Okay, what did we order? Me. Yeah, man, I'm just sitting here because the whole menu is in Thai and I only speak English and good thing Mark and his wife are here to translate, so. <laughs> it's such a hard decision. Something I love about this restaurant is how it's all open air, even the kitchen. And so you come back to the kitchen section, it's just all surrounded in this entire roofing structure, but you can smell the aroma of all the herbs that they use. Because freshwater fish has uh, like an earthy or a muddy taste, um, and in Thai that's called men khao, they often use a lot of herbs and spices for cooking up the freshwater fish. So you see ginger, you see uh, finger root, which is kind of similar to ginger. There's green pepper, there are all sorts of chili pastes, um, and they just cook with expertise. Uh, you, the aromas in here, if you weren't hungry, thinking on the drive coming here, you will definitely be hungry as soon as you start smelling the aromas coming out of this kitchen. So we ordered something like six dishes. Just a couple of them have arrived, but we have to begin the food. I mean, you can smell yeah, the man. aroma of the herbs in there. Uh, it's so good. This is this is really a special restaurant that I have only been here one other time, and it was so good. I've been looking for an opportunity to come back, and today is that time. Yeah, we were just in the kitchen watching them cook all this stuff, and it oh, just man. looks so fresh and so good. You can smell all oh, those yeah. herbs. Hitting okay. me in the face. We okay. gotta get started. Let's, let's do the jungle curry. Okay, jungle curry. That's what it's yeah, called. man, this is jungle curry. Never Have you had jungle before. curry no, before? No, no. It's called jungle curry because it uses a lot of uh, like jungle ingredients, a lot of herbs in there. It's usually very spicy. Um, so you can see there's basil in there. You can see there's the, the grachai, which is uh, finger root, and then Mushroom. we got this with eel. Oh. So you can see the little pieces of eel, and then you can just see the chilies folded in there. Look at that oh, bite. Yeah. Oh, I lost my piece. Man, that's spicy. Woo! <laughs> Dude, mm. <laughs> that was really good, man. Oh, wow. wow. 
It's so awesomely good. You can die of alloy. Sour, hot, spicy. Like so, it's alloy. Alloy, mac. Alloy, mac, mac. Can I pass on Here comes the fried fish. You can die, you can die, you can die. Oh, and the Todman has arrived. Sap, dude. Sap, sap. This is the best proper meal I've ever had. From the spicy dish. Got the hiccups, man. Drew, first like, bite. Drew, how was that first dish, dude? I'm dead already. We got a whole nother bowl to finish. Whew. The jungle curry here is just sensational. I mean, as soon as you take the very first bite, you almost get a little bit of a numbing sensation because there's so much holy basil in there. It's loaded with chilies. I love, especially love the finger root in there. It's such an earthy, just beautiful taste. And then you've got the the eel. We ordered it with eel. Uh, so you kind of, kind of crunch through the bones. It's so good. It's so strong in every way, but balanced at the same time. And it makes my eyes water. Sap. Sap mark, alloy Alloy Okay, she has just recommended that we get one more dish, uh, which is also one of my favorite dishes. So it was, a, it was an easy sell, stink beans. The next dish we have is called Pad Pet Bakau. And this is uh, another freshwater fish. You can see the blubbery skin. I don't know what type of fish it is exactly, uh, but then this is a stir fry with all the curry paste. You can see again, just loaded out with herbs. There's a bunch of kaffir lime leaves in here. There are green peppercorns, there's basil, and you can just see the, the redness of those chilies and the chili seeds in there. I'm gonna put that onto my rice and kind of detach it from the bone because I yeah, think there is yeah. at least there's at least a center bone in there. Yeah. And just look at that herb content. The, the ratio is just, it's beautiful. Mm, mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow, that's awesomely good. But the fish itself is really like, mm, really so soft. Soft. You can taste that fish fattiness of it. Um, and then the skin just kind of has like a little bit of a, a blubberiness to it. What especially makes it for me are the green peppercorns. These little circle things? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Really good, so man. Good. What do you think about it? I don't know if we can top both of these dishes already. <laughs> We got more coming, so right? so good. You're so good. I love it. If you look around, everybody has ordered this, is their tadman, which are their fried fish cakes. So what they do for the fish cakes is they mince up the fish, uh, then they mix it with curry paste and spices. Also sometimes some long beans, but I'm not sure. They really like work it to get a, a foamy, almost foamy consistency before they drop it into the hot oil to deep fry into the little patties. Mmm. Spongy. Uh-huh. Really spongy. It is. Mmm, you can tell it's pure fish. That texture is amazing. Yeah. It's so bouncy. Literally, <laughs> if you drop this on the table, if, if it fell out of my fork, it would probably like bounce up to an equal height. Some seriously good food. And yeah, it might actually kind of work better just to, to spoon it on. Oh yeah. I almost want to eat it in two separate bites. Add on some of this sauce. There's lots of peanuts in it and also cucumbers. Mm. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. I guess it's really quite sweet. I'm gonna take a bite of the sauce on the It is drums. really good. Yeah, I mean, that contrast, mm. that's almost like the same effect that you get of, of sausage with syrups. It's almost like a custom made sauce only for this. These are some of the better fish cakes that you'll ever have. A freshwater fish for sure. That texture will just like. You'll be amazed about that texture. Next dish is the fried frog. And so there's some fried um, frog legs in there. There's the whole bodies. And then what's also awesome is that you've got the whole, they give you the fried skin too. Oh, fried, yeah. fried frog skin is one of the <laughs> best. Really good. <laughs> Crinkled up. That is frog crackling. Mmm. <laughs> kind of like a prawn cracker. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's like. Perfectly wow. awesome. Everything is chopped up here. You got the legs, you've got the body, you've got the midsections. Oh, oh, there's there's a couple of drumsticks down here. Drumstick? Yeah, I'll go for the drumstick. Let's for go sure. for the drumsticks. You can see actually that there's a lot of meat on there. Oh yeah, man. That is muscular. Mmm. Oh yeah, oh, yeah man. Mm. Immediately you can taste the fish sauce. Can you taste the fish sauce? Mm -hmm. They're probably marinated in fish sauce before wow. they deep fry it. Frog really tastes similar to chicken, in my opinion. Similar texture, similar flavor. Mmm, a little more chewy, a little more chewy. And it almost has like this slight rubbery texture yeah. on your teeth. Oh man, that's good. Ying, how's the food? <laughs> Always gotta get a shot of Ying in there. <laughs> the next dish we have is a fried fish. Ying, do you remember the name of this fish? Banyan. 
Bana on. What they do is they kind of slice some slits in the side of it before they deep fry it and then they top it with garlic. They serve it with a few slices of pineapple on the side along with a chili sauce. And just kind of dig off that side filet there. Um, yeah, you can just see how that, how oh, crunchy, yeah. how crispy oh, that garlic is. Oh man. Oh yes. Hold on. Not the best angle, but we're making it work. Can you eat the, just eat everything skin? You can, yeah. As long as you be careful of the bones on the top, maybe. Kind of dip it. it in. Yeah, let's just dunk it. Go Little for it. Dunk. Go for it, dude. Okay. Dunk it, and I'm gonna try to lift on, lift on some of those Ooh. chilies a little bit. There we go. Mm. Oh man. Oh, the sauce. The sauce, the garlic. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow, tasty, man. Like, I'm not trying to act it out for the camera. I'm telling you, this is incredible. <laughs> and we were talking, like, you kind of got to get yeah. out of Bangkok sometimes to find meals this diverse and this good. When you start eating more and more in Thailand, you start wanting to seek out more and more, right. like, regional, regional right. dishes as well as restaurants that specialize in big. So this restaurant specializes in, I mean, this is mostly central Thai food, but they really focus on the freshwater fish and they do it so expertly well. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of the dishes have kind of similar spice combinations. Right. Dude, it's um, starting to pour well, rain outside, you guys. We're in the middle of rainy season and, uh, yeah, oh. every single day around 4 p.m. it just starts pouring rain. Okay, yeah. we got one more dish that we ordered and we are kind of losing light because of the storm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's okay, the food is just as good. Uh, <laughs> this is one. Of, this is the dish that our waitress recommended and gave me the wink, um, saying that we, we should not miss it. Shrimp in here, there's the stink beans. It's just loaded again with that same spice combination. There's It's packed with chilies, uh, even some orange chilies. And then you can see some green peppercorns in there. You can see some... Um, maybe some shallots in there, and then some of the kaffir lime leaves. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take- Wait, we're, we're, we're about to like, hold on. Yeah, are we about to? Let me move my drone. Yeah, go ahead and move, man. <laughs> okay, it's just Crazy. down for us. Guys, we're dying over here. Yeah, about to take that bite and the downpour has started and it's just pouring down. <laughs> we're getting Drew drenched. is getting soaked. He had to, he had to get out of his chair. But we're in the middle of the meal. And, no, we gotta finish it oh off, yeah, man. we're about to take a bite of the stink beans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the, the wind is coming and just gusting, like misting us right now, even in the restaurant. Oh, say kapi do I, Ying? Mmm. Very shrimpy. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is awesome flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, the shrimp base gives such a like such a flavorful saltiness. It's a depth of saltiness, right. a complexity. Um, you've got the, the citrusiness of the kaffir lime leaves and just those shrimp that are like, they're really firm. If you guys like shrimp, you're gonna love this one. It's really, really tasty. Mm. And then just the stink beans, man. They're the just beans. never, they never get old. They're, they're so good. This is only the second time I've had them. Oh, okay. Yeah. The name stink beans, I kind of stayed away from them. Like stinky tofu, right? But they're, not, they're actually not stinky at all. No, they're not stinky. They're stinky like, tofu, that's they're, very stinky. <laughs> they're fragrant is what they are. It's just so like, it's so you. spicy and so herbaceous <laughs> that it's almost medicinal. Okay, yeah, this is the dish. That fish melts in your mouth and just wrapped up in that curry. It's insane. I mean, that's just flavor overload. It's like, I mean, it just is a, an amusement park for your mouth. Drew, what's your favorite dish? Dude, jungle curry number one. Even though it took me a while to get over the spice, but just the aroma and all the different things inside of that is the best. And the fish, man, the big river fish, can't go wrong. So I'm definitely coming back here, guys. This place is really good. Yeah, the more you keep on eating, the more the spice builds. But the, the flavor, just, it just, the complexity of flavor just, like, it just layers up into your mouth and it just, soon you just start tasting chilies and herbs just coming out of your, the pores in your mouth and your tongue. That was just ultimately a satisfying meal. It was incredible. One of the best Thai foods I've ever had in my life. This place is so worth driving from Bangkok out here just to eat. 
Uh, especially if you love spicy, if you love strong flavors, this place, it will not let you down. I wanna say a huge thank you to Drew for joining me for this amazing meal. And also, you have to check out Drew's videos. Uh, he's publishing his videos on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, it was a pleasure to be here, by the way. Uh, I make short two to three minute mini documentary style videos on Facebook and YouTube every day. So it's a lot of fun traveling to every country in the world. And something I really like about Drew's videos is that they are very inspirational and they always have a meaning. And he always like fires you up in his videos. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon. That way you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from the most amazing river fish restaurant in Thailand.